day to all you lovebirds out there <laughs> and all the wonderful couples. I know it comes very fast. I hope you guys have a wonderful time celebrating whatever it is you end up doing. We are going to be making white chocolate dipped strawberry macaron smackaroons. You heard the man, what he said. So if you guys want to learn how we're making these marvelous macaroons, macarons, however it is you want to pronounce it, just keep on watching this awesome video. All right, so we have our syrup, our syrup going. Uh, we're waiting for it to hit 200 degrees so that we can start our meringue, which it just hit. So I've got to get this going. And what we're doing is we're mixing up two egg whites. We're going to try to get those to uh, stiff peaks. And right at the time that that hits 230 degrees Fahrenheit, which is right before, uh, or right at softball stage, then we will be able to pour the syrup into the egg whites. All right, so we beat our two egg whites to a stiff peak, and we waited for our syrup to come up to 230 degrees, which it just did, and we took it off the heat to kind of cool for a second. Now what we're gonna do is turn this back on, and we're gonna slowly pour the syrup down the side of the bowl to where it gets mixed into the egg whites and turns into a big shiny meringue. And then once that's done, we'll be able to move on to the dry. All right, so we just poured our syrup into our egg whites. And that turned it into a nice thick meringue that we're going to mix into our flour or our almond flour and our dry ingredients. All right, so we have our meringue. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to color it now. So I'm using gel coloring so it doesn't add extra moisture. I'm going to go ahead and put it into the actual meringue rather than the dry ingredients because I want to be able to see kind of what color I have and figure out whether or not I need to do more. Since this is strawberries, we're going with red. We're just gonna put a little bit of this in and mix it in. We're putting quite a bit because we wanna make sure we get a nice deep red color. All right, next thing we're gonna do, so we have our meringue done and it's colored, so it's nice and red. Hopefully it'll darken a little when we cook it. But now we've got two cups of almond flour, two cups of powdered sugar that we sifted uh, into the bowl. And then to make our meringues the flavored, we're actually adding about six tablespoons of crushed strawberry powder. It's actually freeze-dried strawberries that we, I crushed in the bag, so it's a little bit more than a full bag. Grayson's getting excited about the food here. It's a little bit more than a full bag, but we crushed it and then I sifted that as well too. So we're going to mix this in. I don't have a big spoon. And then what we're going to do is take our other two egg whites. So we're using four egg whites total. We're gonna to mix those into this to make kind of a thick paste so that we can get started on making the batter. All right, now that we have our meringue done and we've mixed in this to a paste, we're just gonna add a couple big scoops of our meringue in here just to kind of get it started because we need this paste to be a little bit more pliable. And after we put those, after we mix this in, we'll gently fold in the rest of the meringue. All right, now that we mixed a little bit in there to where it's a little less thick, we're gonna drop the rest of our egg whites in and then try to gently fold that until we get the consistency we're looking for that's uh, pipable. We want it to be where when we take the spoon out and it leaves a trail that it kind of disappears after a few seconds. That way, when we make the macaroons, they come out nice and smooth on top. So the method that everyone says you're supposed to do this is go around the outside and then cut through the middle. You're trying to knock some of the air out of the meringue so that it loosens up and you're trying to blend everything together, but you don't want to knock all the air out. All right, so now we got it mixed in. Uh, we actually 
added a tiny bit of milk to help with uh, the texture. Because we added all that powdered strawberry, uh, it made it a little bit thicker than normal, so we added about, about a tablespoon of milk to help kind of thin it out a little bit. And then now it's ready to go into the piping bag, which has a big round tip. Um, we're going to pipe it into our circles, which are underneath parchment paper, so that we can reuse the silicone mats as a template to do multiple sheets, because I think we're doing about 40, 40-ish, and we have three silicone mats. They each make 12. our mixture is a little drier with the strawberries trying to leave the little peak on top as small as possible by pulling it away fast preferably you don't want any peak on top when we smack the pan in a second hopefully most of those will go away Most of them came out pretty good. We have a couple that have peaks and aren't perfectly round because I was still trying to get the bag under control. But some of these look like they'll come out really good. So we're gonna do the rest of the pans, put it in 300 degrees. Or actually, we're gonna let them sit for about, because of the temperature today, we're probably gonna let them sit for about 30 to 40 minutes so they can kind of build a film over top so they're not so sticky. You don't want them to stick to your finger when you touch them. So we're gonna let them sit for about 40 minutes. Grayson's running crazy. And then we'll put them in the oven 300 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll start keeping an eye on them at 15 to see if they're done. All right, Grayson's gonna help me make the strawberry buttercream. So what all do we need in there? What goes in there? Do you know what's in there? What's that? Butter? Butter. Butter, all right. So two thirds cup butter, two thirds cup powdered sugar, two thirds cup melted white chocolate, and two tablespoons of the powdered uh, freeze dried strawberries. So we're going to start with whipping up the softened butter, so two-thirds cup of that with two-thirds cup powdered sugar. Get that nice and fluffy for about two minutes, and then we'll mix in the melted white chocolate and the strawberry, and it'll be done. That's it. And then we just put it into the piping bag, and we'll be ready for when the macaroons are done. So our buttercream is done. It's pretty fluffy and soft and whipped up. So this will go in the middle, and like I said, this is this even parts of a third cup powdered sugar, uh, butter, and white chocolate, and then we added in about a tablespoon and a half of the freeze dried strawberry that's all ground up. And Graceland likes the white chocolate. She stuck her fingers into the bowl. <laughs> what? Bushed it. All right, we have all of them piped, so I'm gonna take one of the first ones I piped. I'm gonna set it on top of here. I've noticed it cooks better when it's on top of my silicone mats, so even though I just used them as a template, um, I'll put it on here. I think it just slows down the heat getting to it, so they cook a little bit more and you get more of a foot. But this is the first set I, I piped. 
and if you just kind of barely tap them, none of the stickiness comes off on your finger, so you know it's good and ready to go into the oven. So I'll put that in. So I'm cooking at 280 degrees for 15 minutes using the convection oven. If you want to cook with a conventional oven, you can do the same thing, roughly 300 degrees for about 15 minutes. You want to cook them until they're glossy on top but firm. Uh, and if you're cooking on parchment paper, you may be able to actually pull one off of the paper when it's done, but sometimes they do stick a little bit. When that's done, we'll take it out, we'll cool them completely before we take them off of the pan, and then we will get ready to fill them. Alright, these are out of the oven, they're firm on top. A couple of them split, this was our first batch in the oven, so I was testing my times. So I got all of that adjusted, uh, but they're good. These ones were cooked directly on the mat instead of parchment paper. But what I'm going to do to let them cool is I don't have my wire racks available. So what I'm going to use is just a muffin tin. This one's a mini muffin. And I'm actually just going to gently pull them off and set them on top of here. And that'll just give them a surface where they can kind of cool underneath until they're completely cool. So here we are, we're all done with filling all of our macaroons. So we have them all ready. One last thing we're gonna do, because these are kind of a special one for a special day, is we melted down a little bit more white chocolate. And so basically all we're gonna do is real simple. So I'm going to set this down. And we're just gonna take each macaroon, we're gonna dunk it in the white chocolate. About a quarter or halfway. And then I'm going to use this little mini muffin tin to set them in so that the chocolate can set. And once they're done, uh, once I've done all of them, I'm going to take the more powdered strawberry here. I'm just going to put it through a sifter over top of them. If I can get a little sample here. It should all come out something like that. We'll do the rest of this rack and then I'll do them all at the same time. <laughs> 